Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this uh, one another problem from the distributed loads topic. Again, we are given this beam and it is said that determine the reactions at the supports of the beam which is loaded as shown. Right, so we have to determine the reactions at the supports. Right, so here at A we have pin joint and here at B we have the roller support. Right. So, first of all, what we will do is that we will replace this distributed load uh, uh, by a concentrated load, right? So, what we can do is that uh, the area associated with this distributed load can be divided into two sub areas, right? So, we can say that this distributed load uh, is equal to this area 1 and this area 2 right so area 1 is a triangle and area 2 is a rectangle right so then uh, this area 1 represents a concentrated load let's say that that concentrated load is r1 right we can find the resultant of this area 1 and that uh, resultant is let's say r1 and that r1 will be equal to the area of this triangle right so that area of triangle is half and this base of this triangle is 6 meters and the height of this triangle of this area 1 is this this height right and this height is equal to this 800 this whole uh, intensity of distributed load here is 800 newton per meter so this is 800 minus this 400 right so this is 400 newton per meter so if we multiply this with 400 newton per meter and this six this six, six is in meter so meter meter will cancel out so we will get the answer in newtons right so this will be three times 400 so this is 1200 newtons right so this distributed load which is associated with this area one uh, is equal to 1200 newton and 1200 newton concentrated load right and this resultant r1 uh, the line of action of this resultant r1 will pass through the centroid of this area 1 right so the centroid of this area 1 will be located somewhere here let's say so if we if i draw this uh, resultant r1 so that r1 will pass through this centroid of this area 1 and this centroid is located at a distance of one third from this edge right one third of this length which is the base of this triangle so let's say that this is x1 right this x1 is the distance of this r1 from that point a so we can write that x1 equals to one third of this six meter length so this gives us x1 equals to two meters right so this means that this r1 this concentrated resultant load which is associated with the distributed load of this area 1 is at a distance of x1 which is equal to 2 meters and similarly we can find r2 r2 is the concentrated load the resultant concentrated load of this distributed load which is associated with this area 2 right so this r2 will be equal to the area of this rectangle right so this is uh, 6 7 8 so 8 into 400 so r2 equals to 3200 newton and this r2 will pass through the geometric center of this rectangle right this r2 will pass through the centroid of this area 2 right so we can represent that r2 so that r2 will be located at a distance of half of this length half of the length of this beam right so half of the length of this beam is four meters right so that r2 will be acting somewhere here that is in the at the midpoint of this beam right so let's say this is my r2 which is 3200 and the and, and the distance of this r2 from that point a is x2 and this x2 will be equal to we can say that that x2 will be equal to the half of this 8 meter length right so we can write this is half of 8 meters so this is 
4 meters right. So, now we can draw the free body diagram right. So, this will be my free body diagram. Here we will have that uh, a y reaction let us say this is my a y and here we will have that a x reaction and here at point b we have roller support. So, we will have uh, let us say that this reaction is r b right. So, now we can draw the free body diagram we can isolate all these this is r 1 and this is r 2 right and x 1 is 2 meters and x 2 is 4 meters. So, now if I apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 here we have that point a and here we have that point b right. So, now as we can see that this r b is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a. So, I will write r b and the perpendicular distance of this r b from that point a is as we can see that this is 7 meters right that r b is acting here right. So, this is 7 meters. So, we will multiply this r b with 7 meters and it is producing the counterclockwise moment counterclockwise moment is positive right and as we can see that this r 1 is producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus r 1 r 1 magnitude is 1200. So, I will write 1200 and the moment arm of this r 1 from that point a is x 1 which is 2 meters. Similarly, this r 2 is producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus r 2 is 3200 and the perpendicular distance of this r 2 from that point a is x 2 which is 4 meters. So, this is equal to 0 or we can say that 7 r b is equal to the summation of the moments of r 1 and r 2 right. So, this is uh, 1200 into 2 plus 3200 into 4 divided by 7. So, that will give us r b. So, r b is approximately 2170 right. I write that r b is equal to 2170 newtons. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So, as we can see that only a x is acting in the positive x direction if this is our x and y direction. So, this means that a x is equal to 0. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this a y is acting in the positive y direction this r 1 and r 2 are acting in the negative y direction. So, I will write minus r 1 and r 1 is 1200 minus r 2 which is 3200 Newton and r b is acting in the positive y direction and r b is 2170 and this is equal to 0. So, when we solve this this is minus 1200 minus 3200 plus 2170. So, this is minus 2230. So, a y minus 2230 equals to 0 or we can say that a y is equal to 2230 newtons right. So, the resultant reaction uh, or the resultant support at point a is let us say r a. So, r a is equal to a x square plus a y square then we will take the square root, but since a x is equal to 0. So, this means that r a is equal to a y and a y is equal to 2230 newtons right and similarly r b equals to 2170 newtons. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed my channel yet and like this particular video if it helps in your learning.